that was the Water Boys. And this standing with me, or these standing with Miss Stanley Onwin, who you'll have recognised as our wonderful continuity announcer at the top of the programme. And Steve Marriott, who everyone realises was immensely famous with the small faces. Hello, Mew. Hello. Steve, I've been reading about you loads lately, and it's always described you as being a survivor of the music yeah, business. I don't know what that means. I've been doing swimming. <laughs> I was just going to ask you, what have you been surviving? What is there to I've been survive? swimming. Yeah, I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, I've been working. I mean, if that's surviving, then I've been surviving. But uh, work's work, really, isn't it? You work all over the world. I suppose because you don't play in like one little area for a length of time, you know, you haven't survived in uh, Northampton or something. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? But you keep going, don't you? Yeah. You, you had an enormous success with the Small Faces. Then you split up at the height of your success. Were you disappointed that Humble Pie, the band that followed, didn't do quite as well? No, no. See, we, <laughs> this is another thing. It did very well in America. Didn't do that well in England, but it wasn't really geared for England. At American management, and they didn't like us coming here much in case we got homesick and stayed at home. Yeah. Well, to get you back to the Small Faces, the most important Small Faces album was Alton's Not To Go On Flake. Flake. And the Stan Odin's yeah. This is the first time you've met, isn't it? Since yes, you've done it, the album together. Yeah, since then. Stan, were you amazed when they came along and asked you Well, to... I was amazed and delighted, and it was a great privilege, because a bit of an old fogey in the square, in a round <laughs> hole foot lover, you know. I was it's such a compliment, you know, with Ronnie, uh, Ronnie Lane and Stevie and the others. And we had, a, we had a ball that day, didn't we? Did not off. Yeah, not tremendous off. fun. Were you mobbed in the street after that as being a pop star? <laughs> well, they gave me with some marvellous ideas, you know. Of course, it took me ten years off my life, and then later on, <laughs> I, I fell in my ingrown toenails all hotly on up down the road. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was a great joy, you know. And I still hear about the record, too. You know? Yeah, still doing yeah. well, yeah, mate. It's quite a classic, isn't it, now? Yeah, good, isn't it? So the things you're doing now, you've got a new band called Packet of Three, and you're mm. playing around the clubs and things. <laughs> Packet. Packet or three, <laughs> available for booking. <laughs> <laughs> so, what kind of people are you playing to now? Do they, all, do they remember the small faces? Do they shout for it, Chiku Park? Yeah, things? some of them. You know, they don't get it, they don't shout for it. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not what we do, that's what they did. And do you find it unusual that there's people like Mods, Skinheads and Punks? And no, I think it's great if you can bring all those, all those together. There's mums and dads doing it, and there's geezers this big with hair this big, there's um, Mods, there's all sorts. It's a mixed bag, it's great. And, and you're also fancying uh, doing some producing as well. I mean, what are you going well, to do about that? Well, I suppose that's next, isn't it? If, I, if anybody wants me to do it, that's the question, isn't it? I don't know if they I'm will. I'm sure they will, Stephen. Heavens above. Well, you learn so much. It's a shame if you keep it all to yourself, isn't it? Yeah. And any bands in particular you'd quite like to produce? No. No, no, no bands at all. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, I'm really, I'll be honest with you. Uh, some bands come to me and, uh, and uh, I've always passed it over because I've been too busy. So now I've got time to relax a bit, I won't pass it over, but I've got nothing in sight. You know, I won't go to someone and say, can I produce you? you know? Yeah. Wouldn't do that. Right, well, while we've got you here, we're going to use you because it's right, competition yeah. time. And last week, you might remember the competition we had. We asked you, we said, what was it in the film that was scaring everybody? Well, it wasn't, in fact, the script. It was, in fact, this animal there, which is a rat, as you can all see. Yes. Well, that's very exciting. We'll be sending uh, copies of this off to the winners. Now, the competition this week, which involves Steve, is... I'm going to ask you a question, and you can win this, which is the NME cassette, which you didn't know, actually, there's a Small Faces clip on this cassette. Yeah, no, I didn't know. It's amazing, isn't it? The yeah, question that you have to answer to get this wonderful, wonderful cassette is, what was the name of the Humble Pie album that featured the animal that I've just mentioned in its title? What was the name of the Humble Pie album featuring the same animal as I've just mentioned in its title? And you could win that. How come you didn't know that was on that cassette? I don't even tell me. They don't keep you informed. <laughs> of course That's not. Really That'd be the worst thing they could do. They'd have to pay me then, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> the address you send your answers to are Tube Competition, Tyne Tees Television, PO Box 1AL, Newcastle upon Tyne, any 99 1AL. And now we're going to see that clip, which you could in fact win on this wonderful video. These are the small faces. Oh, I. I thought you'd listen to my
1978. These are the bosses.